Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. A bit of a random intro from me, just in my very untidy bedroom, but we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna bring you guys just a little weekly barn vlog again. A weekly equestrian vlog, barn vlog, come to the barn, spend a few days with me. These are just my favourite videos to film. A lot's happened, some quiet shit things have happened, and some good exciting things have happened, so... I'll be sure to catch you up on all of that. When I last came on here, I told you guys that I had like three competitions coming up. I had one on Mayo, taking him out the weekend coming up. I had a competition on Bumble coming up. Yeah, it changed, all right? It, it, it massively, massively changed. We were due to take Mayo to do a prelim. He'd been going so well, so well, so well. And I rode him the day before the competition and I could not for the life of me get left canter. And we think it's all stemming from his saddle. I think I've told you guys before, we've got a bit of saddle trouble going on and I just thought you know what I want the experience to be good for him I want to sort of like set him up in the best way possible I thought I'm just going to withdraw hopefully try and sort the saddle issue out and then re-enter something in a couple of months it's fine I'd rather take like extra time with him and like give him like a really good experience as a young horse um I couldn't go to the competition with Bumble for a like reason I didn't have any transport so I decided on the Sunday to just enter my mum's horse to buy into a class at a show that we had on at our yard just a really low-key sort of local fun show so I entered to buy into medium 61 I think it was and he was such a good boy he actually got 71.7 percent which was really nice um to get like some good feedback and just to sort of ride like a higher level test I haven't ridden anything above a novice or elementary for God knows how long. So it was really nice to get back in the arena and do a few half passes, do a few bits of shoulder in. And he's such a good boy. And I think it was nice for my mum as well to sort of watch from the ground and see how he is. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a weird week, but turned out to be good. I have got quite a lot going on at the moment with Bumble. We are very unsure what to do with him moving forward. Um, we've got various issues which I'm not going to go into in this video with him previously and we've managed them as in vet issues we've managed them given him sort of like the best um life we can and oh God, it's like a massive fly I don't know if you can see that I had my farrier out the other day and he he shot him and he said his feet are just the worst they've ever 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 been and when I say to you we give that horse supplements for his feet he's on a good diet he's on like the best grass possible at the moment like the grass is so good in the field that he's in so we've had to take his shoes off and my farrier said it's going to be sort of six months plus to get the new hoof to grow through and he's really quite uncomfortable so yeah i've got a lot going on in my mind with what to do with him um not the best situation to be in but yeah i'm sure we've all been there with horses it's it's part of it isn't it so i think i might have to make some slightly uncomfortable decisions over the next few weeks as to how to best manage that but yeah I don't want to go into that too much now but I just thought I'd sort of set you up for this video in case you're like why are you not doing anything with your horse that's the reason why but yeah let's get into the video and I really hope you enjoy please make sure to like the video if you like it and please leave a comment down below <laughs> I'm now doing some cooking. Uh, it's a bit of a random meal tonight, but I'll show you anyway what I'm doing. It's just like, do you know what? I'm really into like stir fry at the moment, so that's what's on the menu tonight. Bit of a random flavour going into it, but it actually tastes quite nice for what I'm testing at the moment, so hopefully there'll be enough for dinner tonight and for lunches, lunch meal preps for the week. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll do a little taste test in a minute and let you know what what it's tasting like. What's so annoying, I always cook loads, like cook thinking that I've cooked like loads, but because me and George just eat huge portions, it's never enough. Here's the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Trans, how do you kind of nice? It's a little bit spicy, but I'm kind of there for it. Good morning, everyone. It is bright and early on a Monday morning. I have just got up to go and get ready for the day and to head over to the yard got a few things to do at the yard this morning I have got to go over and do something with Mayo and he's had actually three days off which is quite a lot of time off for him so I might be safe and lunge him I might just chuck him on the lunge just do 20 minutes on the lunge with him do some groundwork with him maybe 
and then start riding again tomorrow. We've actually hopefully now found a saddle for him, guys. It's been such a long process trying to find him a saddle. Classic, the one that fitted him was like £2,000 secondhand. And I don't know about you guys, but I just can't justify spending that sort of money on a bloody sick, rising six-year-old that's changing shape so much, still growing. I just, I really can't justify it. So I've been searching and searching and searching for the same model, but you know, maybe a bit worse condition and just for sort of like a better price. And I have found one now. So I've paid for that. That's hopefully gonna be coming in the post in the next few days. And then I'll get my saddler booked in to come and fit it to him. And then hopefully we can get back cracking again. At the moment I'm just sort of paying between hacking, lunging groundwork and i'm doing a bit in the school but i'm borrowing another saddle at the yard that fits him a little bit better and just sticking a pad underneath it but i just don't want to give him any excuse and any reason to start being cheeky or naughty if he's in a little bit discomfort or it just doesn't fit quite right so yeah i'm just gonna take it slow and play it safe with him so hopefully we can get going a bit more with him soon I'm wearing it today i've gone for my classic black heart equestrian brown top and brown leggings literally this is the worst camera setup ever so yeah, let's go into the yard. See, here's Mr. Mayo today, handsome. I gave him a little mane trim the other day and literally, if this isn't an ick, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Looks like a little schoolboy, cheeky man. So I have just finished at the yard with both the horses. Pardon me, God, that came from like deep within. I gave Mayo a nice little lunge just with his rope um, lunging aid that we've got. And considering he's had three days off, it was actually really good. I feel like I could have just ridden him. Bumble, his eye was still really quite bad, even though we kept him in last night. So I've got some eye drops that I have started using with him and I gave his, eyes ni his eye a nice clean. So yeah, it is now actually 11 minutes past 10. I always go to the yard thinking I'll be there hour and a half swift out then I can get on with my day and sort of get all the work done I need to get done. But do you know what I was thinking earlier? I'm so blessed and so lucky to have my horses at a yard and to work at a yard that everyone's so nice. So days like today when I go up there, I think it's going to be a swift sort of entrance and exit i just end up talking to everyone and catching up with everyone from like how the weekend's been um and just having a proper good catch up with the girls at the yard because everyone's just so lovely like i've never been at a yard that just has such nice people like this yard does so yeah feeling lucky about that but it does mean that i end up getting out a little bit a little bit later than expected hello so here we are again in my car i'm sorry that the majority of this vlog has just been filmed in my car and it's really messy I'm sorry about that. I've spent sort of the last hour really sorting out the spare room that I've got that's going to sort of hopefully turn into like more of a workspace, more of an office space. Um, it was so messy, it was so cluttered. And I've put some things up for sale on Vinted. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna go and have a look. I've got a variety of horsey things, non-horsey things, gym things. It's currently quarter to three. I've just got a call from the optician saying that my glasses are ready. I'm now having to have glasses for reading, which I've never had. I've been always been so lucky. Like I've just got a really, really low prescription that I'm going to go and pick up now. I hate the eyelet with glasses. I might show you. I'm actually very insecure though. You know, some people just really suit them. I just really don't. So yeah, it might take me a while to start using them, but I'm gonna go and pick those up and I'm gonna probably pop to a shop depending how busy town is and try and get sort of some 
boxes and folders to take home and to sort of, again, carry on organising my work. So yeah, that's the plan now. I'm going to head into town and I will chat to you guys when I get there. It's literally too much choice. Hello guys, we've just got back from town. Literally having like a coughing fit. <coughs> just snagging on some hula hoop. She's so hungry. I just don't, why don't I suit them? Why don't I suit them? Honestly, this combined with the slick hair and the lack of tits actually makes me look like a bloke. Like, am I a bloke? I can actually pass off for being a boy right now. This is actually quite embarrassing. I'll show you what else I got. I popped into WH Smith's just to get some sort of organisational bits and bobs and they had a big sale on guys so they're a bit like dusty and a bit battered but 5 99 how much were they before? What's £30? Okay that's actually a rip off if these were £30 and so I got two of them and I'm hoping I can just put like some bits and bobs in there even if it is just sort of like things that I'm selling on Vinted I can just keep them like away from everything else so yeah two of them which I'm actually really quite pleased that I got again in the sale I got just like a little folder um, just to put some bits and bobs in when I'm doing work at home. Nothing fancy. It was literally, yeah, three pounds. And um, some dividers. Literally feel like I was like back shopping for back to school day. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Surprised I didn't spend more than this. And I just got one of these folders that have got the little like plastic like sleeves in. I was thinking this could be like my accounts book. Obviously being self-employed I have to do like all my accounts and my tax returns. Why didn't they teach us this at school? Because I've got no idea what I'm doing with them, by the way, guys. Um, but yeah, I was thinking this year I could actually get a little bit more organised. This is my third year of having to do a tax return. So I'm going to try and keep like all of my like, receipts and invoices and everything in here. And probably have that for like my freelance green work that I do. So yeah, all of that was like 20 quid. Pretty goddamn pleased, to be honest. And then just like that, it's time to get up to the yard for my shift in the morning. And I start off by getting all the horse feeds out, giving them a little soak and a good mixy mixy. And yeah, there's a lot of feed bowls for a lot of horses. <laughs> so yeah, the majority of them just had a, have a little bit of water. Some of them have a bit of fibre beet, so I add that in and then I go and serve it out to them as they're all telling me they're so starving. They're so, so, so hungry. They cannot possibly cope. And he's just by enjoying his feed and he always does this really funny thing when he finishes he has to pick it up and drop it which is quite cute and then just like that i get them mucked out so when i finished my shift at work i decided to take mayo in the school for a little schooling session and i've been borrowing one of the other saddles at the yard at the moment in the school i've only really been taking him in the school sort of once or twice a week at the moment just where he's had a bit of trouble with his saddle. I don't want to push it. I don't want to create any issues. But equally, he's the kind of horse you have to keep busy. And today was the first day that I've ridden him in the school in quite a while. And God, did he make me work to get any form of tune out of him today. He was quite tricky, quite opinionated, quite behind my legs. So this isn't our best work, but I thought I'd include it anyway. So... I kept it really quite basic. I really just focused on keeping him straight into both reins from both legs. Um, I did have to sort of get after him on a couple of occasions because he was really, really quite behind my leg. He's got just a little bit picky since I've been turning him out overnight with the other two. I think he uses all of his energy throughout the night playing and annoying the other two horses that he's out with. So then during the day, he is just absolutely exhausted and quite frankly just doesn't really want to do any work which I I can relate to I can I can honestly relate to that so nice. yeah just a little sort of stretchy session to get him back in the swing of things and I was pleased with how he was feeling he was moving well other than putting on quite a lot of weight I actually think he's taking up my legs so much more now now that he's bulked up a little bit um but yeah like I said earlier hopefully my new saddle will be arriving the next couple of days and then we can get that fitted to him and I can get cracking with him again and hopefully get to some shows.
And after I've ridden him, I just give him a nice hot cloth. He was a little bit sweaty, but oh my gosh. I don't know what it is with my horses and just losing their manes. I'm looking at that now and thinking, why is it so thin? So if you, you guys have got any suggestions on mane growth tips, please do let me know. But yeah, that sort of brings us to the end of this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of random bitty vlog. But if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see more of.